Hi, I'm Ruben Saltzman with Structure Tech Home Inspections, and today I'm going to talk to you about a subset of a failed window seal called collapsed glass. Okay, so anybody who knows anything about a home inspection kind of has an idea of what a failed window seal is already. Basically, on any modern window, you've got two panes of glass and you've got a seal in between these two panes. They might fill that space with argon gas or something like that to help resist some heat flow through there. Whatever it is, we've got a seal. And if that seal fails, you can have air leak in between those two panes of glass. Along with that will be moisture. And then when you get a big swing in temperature, you can have condensation between those two panes of glass. And eventually it can lead to this foggy look. You can have mineral deposits between the two panes, making it so it always looks cloudy and it's tough to see out of. And you know, really when you break it down, besides an openable window, windows have two main purposes. Number one, they let light in. Number two, you can see out of them. Now, once you have a failed seal and you've got cloudy glass, you have a really tough time doing half of a window's job, which is seen out of it. So that's why we're concerned about failed seals. It's, it's primarily a cosmetic issue, but it may have a slightly lower insulating ability too. So that's a little bit about failed seals. When a window is in the early stages of having a failed seal, there's no way to know about it. This is why home inspection standards of practice don't require us home inspectors to even report on failed seals. It's because there's no way we could possibly know. Heck, I've got a patio door at my house that has a failed seal, and I know it because when it gets really cold really fast, there's this little band where I get some condensation on there. But today I look at it, it looks perfect. And most of the year, it looks completely perfect. There's no way for me to identify that. So that's why home inspection standards of practice don't require us to report on these. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm on a huge tangent. Back to this subset of a failed window seal called collapsed glass. This happens when the two panes of glass have a gas in between the two panes and the seal that keeps the gas in, keeps outdoor air out, has failed and the gas escapes basically when it gets really cold that the, the glass pulls in, the two panes pull in towards each other, the gas escapes, it creates this vacuum, and then when temperatures rise again, the glass does not return to its normal shape because the seal has only failed a little bit. It has failed enough for the gas molecules to leak out, but air molecules can't leak back in maintaining this vacuum there. So you don't actually see any fogginess between the two panes of glass. I mean, heck, you, you, I suppose you could. I don't think I've ever seen that happen before when you've got collapsed glass. All that happens is the pieces of glass suck in towards each other. So the glass actually looks fine until you take an infrared camera. And if you shoot these windows that have a failed seal, you'll notice that they get really cold right in the middle. And then as we move out toward the edges where it's the normal thickness, it's a normal temperature. And it's a pretty night and day difference between windows that have collapsed glass and ones that are still intact. You can also sometimes tell that a window has a failed seal by looking at it from the outside at the right angle. If you look at these different panes of glass, you look at the one on the far right and you can see it has a nice flat reflection but then as we start to move towards the left, you can see these window reflections start to get distorted, making it more and more obvious that these windows have collapsed glass. And we actually have a window pane in our office that has collapsed glass. A blog reader donated this to us so we could keep it in the office and use it as a demonstration for our newer inspectors. I've got my dad here in this picture where he's got his fingers touching on either side of the glass and it's almost like his fingers are touching each other that that glass has pulled in so tight. So that is a subset of a failed window seal. Again, it's called collapsed glass. It's mostly cosmetic. It will give the glass a slightly lower insulating ability and it's worthy of reporting on if you're a home inspector, but really it's, it's a pretty minor issue as far as I'm concerned. Okay. That wraps it up. That is all I have to say about collapsed glass. Thanks for watching. Take care.